All right, we're going to go over, uh, I just want to start off going over some just some basic stuff here, some positioning stuff, we're working some technique here on our feet, uh, some front headlock, some, some single legs, some different finishes, but I just want to go over a couple quick things here that I think is probably some of the most important. Uh, it seems easy, and I'm sure you've heard it a thousand times, but uh, it has to do with, uh, with drilling and having a certain mentality. I think a lot of you guys have, you know, a, a lot of kids, or, or some might not have that many kids, but I think that, uh, and that doesn't matter, that I think the most important thing when you're wrestling, you know, you have to ask your wrestlers, you know, what, what's their goal? Why, why are they doing it? If they're not coming in the practice room to get better every single day, they're there for the wrong reasons. And I think uh, they don't have to be the most talented guys. I think if you follow this, this process or this philosophy, they don't have to be the most talented guy. They can be just somebody that's, that's average, you know, as long as they're willing to work hard every day that they get in there. Like, uh, for instance, when I see guys here, a lot of times you'll see guys, you know, when they're drilling, they're standing up and then they tie up with a guy and then they go, okay, well, I'm going to hit a shot here like this. Well, that's, that's great if that's how you're drilling, but most times in a match, it's never in that situation. You're never just standing, unless the guy's not very good. And those are the guys that you're trying to beat, right? You're trying to be the best guy, right? So a lot of times guys, they come out there and they're drilling, they're like, okay, now I'm going to go. Well, you know, when you're warming up, that's one thing to get going. You know, the first five minutes of the practice here, you know, you're just trying to get limber, you're hitting stuff. But after that, you should be moving this guy's feet, right? So you guys, are, you should be here. So here, you're here, you're, you should be in your stance all the time. Here, so you're moving this guy's feet. Whether you're on this guy's head, whether you're pulling him in from this tie. But the thought is, is you gotta keep this guy's feet moving all the time. You wanna get in the habit to where this guy, you're not going live. You gotta get these guys into a habit of drilling and almost sparring, right? So, you know, once you get warmed up and you come in there, they should be hitting movements from two or three different setups. So, basically, when you're in your stance, I see a lot of guys that are here, and then they come up and they stand up. Well, your first line of defense is your head and your hands, right? So if you're standing straight up and your hands are on this guy's back, where are you going? You're getting taken down. So you've got to get these guys in a habit all the time of going low here and coming in with their heads and their hands. Like I say, a lot of guys don't like guys overtime, and it's okay to overtime as long as you're using your head as your defense, right? So if you're over the top trying to pull this guy, as long as I'm blocking with my head, he goes to take a shot here, I can still use my head to block, right? So I really, I really think when, when you guys are drilling here, it doesn't do anybody any good for a guy to just come here, stand here, and then hit a shot like this. It doesn't do anybody good. You gotta get them into a habit of all the time, so they're, they're operating on muscle memory, right? So if they're constantly here, pulling on this guy, moving him, faking here, and then going to a leg attack, if they're constantly drilling that way, they're gonna hit it in the match that way. And these are the habits that you want these guys to develop every single day. Just like when a guy, you know, after two or three, four, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it is for them to warm up, they should be finishing every shot after that. They should be getting in a habit of finishing those shots. That way that they don't get here, get to a shot, and then they stop. Now what happens? This guy sprawls, and they're here, right? So if you get them into a habit of blowing through the position every single time, then it becomes muscle memory, right? So if they're moving this guy's feet here, and they're driving every time. It should be like that. When they get back up, you know, also back to the center here, boom. They're back in their stance. It doesn't mean come back to the center, then you stand up. You really have to be, you have to harp on it every day. I'm telling you, this is one of the most important things. And I see guys, all the, I see college guys do it. They'll be sitting in the corner there, kind of doing this or whatever. If you want to beat the best guys, you have to be disciplined every day. You have to come in here with a purpose. I mean, what are you guys doing? You're moving in here, moving this guy's hands. You see two, two or three good movements, right? And I understand, a lot of times guys, you know, they got, they, they want a level change, low level, low ankles, that's great. But you also have to get these guys to close the gap, right? So we're in our stance here, all the time, right? Boom, you're walking in. And it doesn't mean you have to reach every time, you know? Guys are always like, well get a hold of them, you know? So they reach and they get over the top. Sometimes you can just stay in your stance and walk into your opponent. Use your head positioning, right? I see a lot of guys too, they're going here and they're head to head. Well you know, as well as I do, if you're looking for your position, you're gonna walk in and you're looking for your head in this guy's neck joint, right? So we're here all the time. It has to be like this. You've got to be here, moving this guy's feet. You should focus these guys. Two or three good pulls, and then to a leg attack. So, so it's not just robotic. So they're not just here, okay, here, and then back up. You want to focus on these guys. Pull here, pull here. And now, see how he's reacting? He's going like this. 
Well, if you wrestle, I don't care how tough you are or how good you are. If you wrestle a guy who does that for six to ten minutes, he's going to be a tough guy to deal with, right? Because you're constantly doing this, right? You don't know where he's coming. So, he's, so we're here. We're in our stance here. We're going forward. Boom, pull, pull. You notice how when I'm pulling, I'm still creating forward pressure with my head, right? That's going to help set up your snaps. That's going to help your hand fighting, right? So as we're here in our stance, I'm coming forward all the time. I'm not, I'm not pushing on this guy super hard. I'm just keeping a constant pressure on this guy, right? I'm waiting for him to push back. So I'm here. I'm pushing back. As soon as I feel him pushing back, that's when I snap, right? And I see it, like you say, a lot of times guys, when they do get, when they do get into a collar tie or double or both inside ties or on the wrist or whatever, they're tight, right? Well, what happens when you're strong on a guy's head? He tenses up, right? So it's hard to snap a guy, right? Because he's all tensed up using his strength. So what happens is he tenses up, you can't pull him. You want to keep everything loose. Keep your arms loose. When you're ready to snap, snap, right? So I'm always constantly, I push on him, I'm hanging on this guy light, right? That way too, if, he, if I'm pushing, he takes a leg attack, if I'm light, I can drop my hands down. If everything's so heavy, you're telegraphing it. I mean, wrestling's a lot of feel, right? So if you're really heavy handed, and constantly doing that, keeping that constant pressure, well, he knows you're gonna try and pull him down and snap him. You wanna try and keep everything loose all the time. I'm constantly here creating pressure and I keep my hands loose. And then when I snap, whether it be from a wrist, or from a head, or from double inside tie, whatever it is, I'm pulling this guy to the mat, right? So a lot of my pulls from my snaps and my hand fighting come from this far armpit here. All right, most guys, they say, like you say, they say, hey, pull this head. Now, I'm pulling this head, but a lot of times I use it as a guide. I'm, I'm using it to pull down, but that's not what my snap is. That's why you see guys doing this. Well, they're not doing anything. A guy's still holding his position. So you want to, you want to get a lot of your pull from this, from this armpit here, right? That's how you can really move a guy's feet. That way, too, if you're not, you're not in this position, if you're double, double inside ties, or if you're on the wrist, you can still pull here. That's because I'm pulling from this armpit here. So I got my head position. I'm in my stance here. And boom. When I'm ready to pull, I pull. And it's not a half pull. I'm, try, I'm trying to pull my hands all the way to the mat every time. So I'm here, boom. every time. For my headlock, same thing, here. Inside tie, here I'm pressuring this guy. He's pressuring back. Here. You notice how when I pull them too, I'm not getting over the top, all right? You want to pull, and you want to be aggressive when you pull, his, pull all his weight down, because the goal is to get his weight on his hands. I'm dropping my level too, right? I'm not just pulling him into my legs. So I, it's, it's almost like a level change. So as I'm, as I'm snapping this guy, I'm here, I'm dropping my level too, boom. That way, if you go to snap a guy here, and he comes back up before I'm at, you can already attack. So as you're snapping, you want to be level changing, right? So that way, if you're, if you're pulling this guy and you're here, boom, now he doesn't know where you're coming, right? So that's really something that a lot of guys don't focus on. Like you say, they're, they're coming in here and they're just doing this. And they're just kind of pulling, or they're, or they're turning up really tight, they're trying to, here, you gotta keep everything loose, right? You don't want this guy, a number one thing, too, I see, is the guy who's a lot better than the wrestler, you're like, man, how did this guy keep this match so close? It's because a lot of times, Guys are wasting time in these positions, right? So they're here. This guy's here. This guy's just trying to hold you in here, right? That's why you want to keep everything loose. So this guy, this guy's trying to kind of come here. See, I'm circling my feet away, level changing, but I'm also clearing this tie. See, it's the same thing. This is a little bit different because he's on the collar tie here. So a lot of times, like I say, what I'll do if they're trying to drop me up, I, like here, I know. I know where he's at here. He's coming here, elbow pass, right? To an inside shot, you're going to high cross, right? <coughs> so I'm going to come here. I'm going to use my head. So if he takes that shot, all I'm going to do is drop my head. You see how I drop my head? That's why it's so important to use your head equally with your hands. It's not just about stopping a guy here when he shoots with your arms. you got to use your head, too. That way, if you get a collar over the top and he's on a collar tie, there you can use your head to navigate this guy. So he takes a shot here. Now I'm going to re-attack off it. 